Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I am here to show you a fabulous apartment at Water Street located in Joey Quarter in Birmingham. We're at a B3 postcode which means it's super central to the city of Birmingham and Water Street is in Joey Quarter like I said the historic uh, one of the historic quarters in Birmingham city centre. So let's go through the stats. It's a two-bedroom apartment. It's on sale for close to £585,000 and the approximate size of the apartment is 1,390 square feet. Right, so if you've got any questions or you want to find out more about this apartment, there are all the details are in the description via link. So click that to find out more. In the meantime, if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. So come inside. Hello, welcome to my brand new apartment. Come inside. Right. Let's let the door close, self-closing. So what are we looking at in this fabulous hallway? We're looking at kind of a substantial width. Obviously it's narrow here, but then it just completely opens up as soon as you come straight into the hallway. The first thing you're gonna notice is your door. This is a common theme throughout the whole house. It's this kind of natural wood grain effect throughout the whole apartment. And the first double doors you're gonna see is the storage cupboard. So let me just open this. This side is locked. This is where your ventilation system, mechanics, and the manifold for your underfloor heating and your consumer unit for like the fuse board. It's so convenient to have an apartment which has all that stuff in there. And obviously it can also function as a cloak if you wanted it to do so. So the next thing I wanted to say is that the flooring itself is a kind of a natural, uh, real wood. It's a solid real wood. You're going to feel that warmth come through and there's underfloor heating throughout the whole apartment. Um, so in this hallway, I've obviously talked about the clock and the storage cupboard. We've also got this system here by Hickvision. It's your security system and allows you to have intercom with the downstairs. Um, coming through here, the first one we're going to notice is this bedroom. So this bedroom is a double bed but could easily fit a king size bed just walk all the way to the end of the bedroom you can see this fabulous window it's double glazing and it's so quiet in here i love the way that obviously you can see the street from here and there's so much natural light and this window goes almost all the way to the ceiling we've obviously got the, the blinds into uh, built in already and Again, you can just see how the, the kind of the location of the Jewel Quarter and that industrial uh, aesthetic is coming through in the apartment. You're going to see that in these exposed brickwork details like here. And I just love how that's done with these kind of like uh, metal frame windows as well. Um, we've got two opening elements there as well. So lots of natural ventilation and fresh air. Let me just scoot round and show you the rest from the other view. So you can just see here the bed is in the middle um, and then you've got space for two bedside tables, a feature wall there and then you've got, you know, your storage or your wardrobe there, which you can decide what you want to do. But it can fit a substantial size wardrobe and you've still got space here. It's not tight at all and I really like the proportions of this room. So before we leave this room, I just want to point out opposite to your bed, there's actually a, a space for you to put your TV you know they've already put the socket high up so you can have your wall mounted floating tv there as well and then that pretty much concludes i think what's going on in this room um coming back into the hallway let's just look at this area here this is kind of like a little console well it's a console table and a little area for you to put a bit of decor you could put um, a storage unit there for shoes if you wanted to or even have the artwork replaced with some hooks if you wanted some exposed um, cold storage it's completely up to you but I do want to mention that the hallway completely opens up as soon as we get to this point it's almost like double the width of it and it definitely makes this space feel really grand we've got spotlights as well which creates a kind of ambiance to the space and then that leads me to the next room but before we go on we always like to talk about the door details and eye mongery so we might as well stop and talk about them here you've got a step edged profile to the architrave so it's like steps up like that and then it ties in with this kind of very simple pared down modern um skirting so let's come through to the next room wow okay 
what a kind of an entrance into a bedroom. So immediately what's going to hit you is again, we've got this fantastic exposed brick. It's kind of been sandblasted, so it's super clean. There's no fragments falling off it. It's just for the aesthetic purposes and tying in the scheme of the home. So immediately you're going to be seeing this bed. It's actually a king size bed. Most developers stage the homes with a double or a small double to make the space look bigger. But not in this case, we've actually got a king size bed with a large headboard and it already shows you've still got space either side with the amount of space at the foot of the bed as well. You can tell you can upgrade that to a super king. It's completely up to you what you want to do with the space, but this gives you a good idea of what's there. So you've got two windows, those kind of aluminum, uh, not aluminum guys, sorry, metal framed windows again. It's double glazing and they're opening on two sides over there. And they've also got two opening lights over here. So imagine on a hot summer day, hot, sum, hot summer's day, you get all that ventilation just coming all the way and circulating through this space. You've got really good views of the street in front as well. So you can see who's coming. You've got guests. Um, if they're pulling up outside, you can see them. And then also you've got all that natural light coming through. Um, you've got a little nook here, which is great for like a dressing area. It's got like a TV point. Well, um, an electric socket there where you would put your TV on the wall. It's nicely positioned because it's opposite the bed. And then you could even make this additional storage or a dresser if you wanted or work from home space. Again, it's completely up to you what you want to do. You've got your uh, storage here and I'm just going to show you really quickly. So the whole area from where that wall starts to the end of there through these double doors is actually storage. It's a walk-in wardrobe. So again, you can fit this out however you want to do it. Um, you've got, you can put a pole, you can put a um, hanging rail, I mean, and just storage, however you want to do it. It's completely up to do you and it's completely white. So it kind of is very minimal on the eye. It doesn't really interfere with the space at all. You are still left over with all of this amazing space. Oh, the rug's really nice as well. So is that it to this room? Of course not. Let's look at the next room off this space. It is your personal ensuite. So again, I want to just mention how this detail is pretty cool. It transitions really nicely straight from the wood into the tile. Remember, this is real wood and this is tile. So that's quite an effort to make them all kind of level. So well done to the developer. I can see already we've got Porcelanosa shower tray there and we've got chrome fixtures. You've got a rain head, um, kind of a rain dance shower as well with valves against the wall. The whole enclosure is tiled, um, fully tiled in this kind of marble effect um, ceramic tile. And then we've got here the kind of the contrast of the tile with this kind of a dark gray tile. And you've got a continuous ledge across the whole top. That's something that we're seeing a lot in these type of bathrooms. It's great for storage and decor. Mirror could be easily placed there or a medicine cabinet if you wanted to do that. I must mention the whole room is actually completely tiled. So not just the shower enclosure, not just the back, that wall and these two walls that you're not able to see, but you will in a second. You've got a chrome um, towel rail there, heated, great. Uh, that's also by NK Porcelanosa as well. Um, and then you've got your floating sink here, nice size. And then you've got your pegler uh, tap as well, chrome again, and Porcelanosa face plate and toilet. This is pretty cool as well, this um, system. And again, yeah, it's all done in a modern style. It kind of contrasts really nicely with the um, traditional and industrial vibe of the apartment. Again, I just wanted to mention that, you know, throughout the whole apartment, you're going to notice the face plates to the sockets are these designer face plates, then a kind of a brushed uh, stainless steel. They're dimmable as well. So the spotlights to this bedroom, I, I should have mentioned that earlier, but there are spotlights throughout the whole apartment. So these are dimmable. So that's really good in creating a nice mood and really kind of adjusting the light to exactly how you want it to be. So now that we're back in the hallway, what's through this mystery door? I will show you in a second. This is the quote unquote family bath, AKA the bathroom to the entire floor. Wow, okay, proportions wise, it's really good. Great for access. There's no kind of weird threshold, no trip hazards, flows really nicely into this porcelain tile on the floor. And the tile actually goes up onto the wall. So there's a bit of coordination. Again, this whole bathroom is fully tiled in this marble effect porcelain tile. We've got the shelf that we saw earlier, and this is the 
theme, the bathrooms look like this and they have this consistency between them. Again, the toilets, the same as the bathroom we just saw, but in addition to that, we've also got a bathtub here. The bathtub as well has this really lovely edging strip. It kind of looks like an antique brass effect, kind of different really but a nice accent. You've got your shower, handheld shower device there, and obviously your glass divider screen. Again, a final door here. This is kind of like an additional services cupboard or linen store. Um, this is where you can obviously see where your hot water cylinder. So that again confirms the showers are thermostatic showers, and that means you can enjoy nice power showers to the whole apartment. So let's keep moving. So again, the final space I want to show you and get ready for this, guys, you're going to be absolutely blown away. And let me show you what's behind these double doors. You ready? So welcome to your open plan, living, dining, kitchen, snug, entertainment area. This is just spectacular. Um, I think when you bring someone over, they will definitely have this kind of response. Double door entrance, that's already going to create some kind of suspense, you know. And then what you've got here is the kitchen area, which flows straight off that double door. So you, there's a really nice flow. So you come in, there's no obstructions in the way. You're not walking straight into a sofa. You've got the space that you can play with. This could easily be, has the they've staged it as a breakfast diner area. So that's really nice with this... Um, kind of overhang on the worktop here the kitchen is straight off here and then you've got a zone here but let's start one by one by going through the space the first thing that i'm seeing when i come through here is i've already noticed again consistency with this developer with the transition of the flooring material there's no um, barriers so again you know it's just really nice to just walk straight off to, from that into a more practical and versatile flooring it's done in this kind of concrete effect again that's leaning back to the industrial vibe of this property and then you've got a kitchen which has like a, a peninsula so it's slightly attached to the wall you've got your uh, units there and I'll just kind of start that way and I'll work all the way around so there's a door here because in addition to this, you also have like a, set, a utility area here for your laundry uh, machines and you will have an appliance here supplied, integrated. You've got storage as well above here and then that's the services, additional services over there. So let's close that off. Nice bonus to have that. How many apartments have a utility? You tell me. So kitchen, you're going to notice there's a fridge freezer here. Fridge, freezer, and a 70-30 split. You've got your NEF appliances, double oven here. Storage there, it's all hinged there. On soft closers, so storage there. You've got your storage here as well. Let me just show you quickly what you're looking at. So you've got the dark gray doors and the white carcasses inside, as you can see there. Again, yep, there you go. There you go. All that is storage. You've got this amazing kind of, it's a back, it's a back painted mirrored splashback. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister there, but it's in a bronze effect. And I like the way they've kind of antiqued it to kind of add a bit of edge. So it's not just brand new. There's always a bit of kind of like a bit of grit and a bit of kind of uh, uh, that industrial vibe in this location in Birmingham. And you'll see that when you come and visit this apartment to see it for yourself. You've got this tap as well by, ah, Capel. <laughs> so that's a Capel tap, Google it. And then we've got this fabulous, what looks to me to be like a salstone worktop. Um, it could be a quartz. Um, more details will be in the description. If you click that link, you'll be able to see all the spec for the property. I like this little tray here as well. It's really good for cutlery or fragile items. That's nice. And the ball itself is actually a nice size. The grooves are integrated into the worktops, so that saves space, but then it's very minimal. There's not much going on, so it's very clean. Um, and then let me just show you, this is your dishwasher by Neff. So that's your dishwasher. And then you've got storage there under the sink. And then you've got more storage there. On this side, we've got a kind of a caddy for your waste storage as well that's lovely and then you've got cutlery drawer substantial and then more storage under there more storage there wine cooler here as well which i'll just open that's fantastic and 
it appears to be it is actually guys it's temperature control so that's great and then you've got your induction hob by Neff there with one two three four five hobs and you've got your extract fan above did you notice that no you almost missed it and i love that it's so clean and open there's no weird obstruction or like bulkheads and it's just there it's by elica elica so again you've got the windows that we saw throughout the rest of the apartment and i'll talk more about the windows when we look at the rest of the apartment but again the same concept is brought throughout the whole house and i just love that you've got your banker sockets there so convenient for controlling things and then the same fabulous worktop here and then like i said the breakfast bar is over here okay right so let's keep it moving again we're in this space here and you're probably thinking what can i do with the space they've staged it as this being the living area but again if you wanted to you could probably have a dining table here if you want the flow to be kitchen dining living you can do that because the space is so versatile i'm going to do what i normally do which is if you stay there i'll walk all the way to the other side of the apartment how many steps is this this is very unusual for Birmingham to offer you this kind of space for this price point. So again, we're right in the city centre and you've got all the space to yourself. It's kind of house-like proportions and it's in an apartment. So coming back to this space, we've got a living area here. You've got your, um, kind of, they've also done a few ceiling fixtures, uh, ceiling details, kind of like pushing in and out. Uh, there's a complete mechanical ventilation to this space as well. And there's also um, air conditioning as well throughout the apartment, just thought I'd mention that. Spotlights, as you can see, and this is like a nice living nook. You can put an L-shaped sofa, like I always like to say, an L-shaped sofa for every single space. Basically cradle the space with your furniture, or you can just do separate settees. It's complete up to you. A little drinks caddy over there. Again, that could have like a long table. You can work whilst looking out at the canal. I'll show you the canal in a second. And then you're coming into this other zone. And I like this framing because you do feel like you're coming into another kind of uh, cradled area. And this has been staged as the dining area. There's so much space. The, I can I can already tell from looking at the space that a, an eight or a ten seater table can definitely go here. Um, again, it could be like your cinema area, a office area. If you want to, maybe close this off. It's it's there's just so much versatility to the space. Um, looking over here, let's look at what I've kind of been hinting at, which is the view. We're canal side here. It's so quiet, so serene. It's like two minutes. It's like literally two minutes from. Snow Hill Station as well, so that's very convenient for people traveling. Um, again, you've got blinds already integrated into these doors, and there is a Juliet balcony, so you can open these double doors out and have fresh air just flooding, like just gushing in, and then you've got, you know, views that way. You've got this really modern corner-to-corner -corner glazing. You can see the canal boat there parked there, and there's kind of living next to the water as well adds a nice serene vibe and i like that as a bonus to this apartment so let's just walk through and i'll just make sure i touch through everything we go around maybe this way you, again another nook there to do whatever you want to do with the space and you can kind of look at the rest of the space and see you know kind of the proportions again <laughs> i'm kind of dancing around the camera there's just so much space so again we've got the windows like i said and then yeah this is the space and if you've um, enjoyed what you've seen so far, I would like to see in the comments below what stood out to you. Otherwise, subscribe so we can see you in the next video. All right, bye.